May the 7th of 2022, uh, we were working in the yard. I came back after about a 40 minute ride and uh, walked the bike through the gate and I'm still on top of the bike and uh, the bike accelerated to 100% all on its own. I clamped down on the brakes, almost went in the pool, went through the outdoor living area and crashed all the furniture in there and then hit the pool equipment and then hit a, a little tree beside the uh, fence and hit the fence and I wound up under the bike with half my uh, the bones in my face broken and I was unconscious and the bike um, was burning me uh, with fourth degree burns over 20% of my body. While I was on the phone with the 911, they were getting the bike off of him and I noticed that he had been burnt. Then the paramedics finally came and they took him to the hospital and then the next thing I know, several people from the church were at the hospital and they stayed there with us. They they brought lawn chairs. They sat out in the parking lot and they brought um, snacks and drinks and they waited until about 2.30 in the morning when he had to be transported to the burn unit. There was church members that were constantly checking in on me and praying for me. We, we stayed in the trauma unit most the rest of the night. Then the next thing I know, here comes more people from the church. Uh, bring in sacks of food, styrofoam boxes full of meals for all of us. I didn't even know some of the people that were there, but they came and showed up with food and encouragement and prayers, and they sat with us till the surgery was over. I remember the first time I, I came back to church after the accident, and so many people I didn't know saw me, and they came up to me and said, you don't know me, but we've been praying for you. I knew that that we weren't fighting alone it gave me so much strength because I knew that we were surrounded. There was so much wreckage and broken glass everywhere and they went over with some people here from the church and they cleaned up all of that wreckage so that I wouldn't have to see that when I went back home. I don't think we could ever thank everyone enough for all that they've done for us.